So, just um, come back from Natural Wonders, just had a week in Whitby, dropped some things off uh, while we were there from other places, and a couple of Hildes uh, for uh, number one son, uh, and they're all nicely prepared. So, it's a fossil unboxing video. This one's all prepared by uh, Marcus Cliff at Natural Wonders Limited. So, let's see what we're going to get then. So, you're going to start with the Hildes. See how good they are. He's wrapped them well. This is where it falls on the floor and breaks. No, no, we, we've got in. We've got in. turned out. Oh, there we go. It's not bad, is it? Lucy Tannicum. I think that's where we hit it with the hammer on that, that edge there, isn't it? So, a little bit of damage. Okay, it's not too bad, that. Hildoceros Lucy Tannicum. Right. What are you going for next? This one. Okay. Wherever this one is. So, this one I found on the recent um, video uh, climbing over Loads of boulders. Oh, it's nice and warm now. I just picked this one up, a bit of a mucky nodule, but it's a double of some sort. There's something in there, and there's something in there. I think that might be a crushed pseudo outworld, so that might be a pseudo and an ildi together. So that could be that could be quite interesting. That it's going to need some further prep to just, just to see what it is. Yeah, could be good. There's a very remote part of the course, and I wasn't sure what it was. Look at that, and it's a double. And that's quite a rarity, is that? Look at that. So we've got a Pseudoleoceros lithense and a Hildoceros bifrons. It's very rare to get Hildoceros associated with another species. So that has turned out beautifully. Very nice. I thought it might be a double and a rare one. So, yeah, pleased with that. Next one. What have we got next? The small but mighty. Small but mighty. Ah, okay. So that is a Perinoceros subamartum. We go yeah so you can see all the spines there that's looking good so let's tilt it that way a little bit so yeah i think that's double-sided prep as well look at that that's nice isn't it so that one where did i find that one i think that was oh that was the that was a recent trip to saltwick yes yeah, saltwick bay i think that one Good Yorkshire material so far. Okay, next one. Oh, which one are we going for? This one. Another small but mighty one. Is it? <laughs> Super power tape. Well, another nice beach pebble. I saw that white mark and thought, ooh, could be something nice in there. Dark. Look at that. So yeah, that'll make a, in fact, not a duck, it's a perinoceros, I think. Look at that. Oh, actually, it's actually a perinoceros, I think. That's a pretty damn good split for a perinoceros, is that? Cool. Yeah. Back, back to. Um, back to there, we've, we've, we've done the tape. There we go. Is it this one? Yeah. We've, we've got the tape done. It's a really strong piece of tape. What's this one? Oh, there we go. Look at the centre. So that was, that's, and it's a really good split, that. So that was a Peronoceros, and I believe that's a, oh, t I think it's Turiculatum with a very fine ribbon. I'd have to double check on that one. But um, Peronoceros Turiculatum, and that was, again, from uh, climbing over all those boulders. And it was a bit of a funny split, so I've had it taken back. So it's a nice, perfect one. Brilliant. Nice Peronoceros. Yeah, usually Perinoceros are really sticky. So to get the split on that with all the inner whorls and the button and loop fibrillation on the outer whorls is really good. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. Will you be will you def be defeated by the tape? I can actually see it already, so I don't, think, I don't even have to snap a piece of tape. 
I think I've been unlucky with this one. I found this nice shelly block and uh, it's got an Amalfius in it. But unfortunately, all this side has worn away. We could have a nice middle. So it might be worth teching to actually make a smaller one. Just depends how much has gone on this side. We'll see, but yeah, Amalfius Ammonite. So this one wasn't the best preservation, unfortunately. But there was another one on the other side. So I've got that out. Again, it's not quite all there, but it's okay. But that's a beauty. Nice little one with a bivalve. So a few for the bag. So this one is the small, um, I think, yeah, that's not an Amorous Eris. It's definitely a small um, Amalfius Margaritatus. It's quite nice. You can see the ribbed keel at the edge there. So it's, it's like, I call it a pie crust keel. And a shell. And, there, and a shell on there as well. Very nice. Is there another thing at the back of there, actually? No, I think I think there might be another small one just there. but Yeah, that's the one that, I, that I saw out of it. Yeah, but that's nice, is that? Very nice. Okay. What are we going for next? Uh, can do this one. Oh, well, we know what that is. We can see what it is. Yeah, good or bad. I think we found a good ammonite. I think it could be a Hildoceros. Mm-hmm. Gonna go dashing and get it, grab it. Yeah. Ready? Go, 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 go. Go faster! Really? Bit flat though. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, there. Oh, it might be. Mm, I have to say. But I think that'll prep from this side. The Ildoceros Ammonite. Yay! That's not bad, is it? Good or bad, there's a Hildoceros bifrons. Looks Ooh, like good. it's it looks like it's good. Oh, oh yeah, look, look at that. The mouth border. Mouth border and everything. That's very nice that. Not bad for a first bifrons, is it? Yeah, very nice. There we go. All good. Yeah, I think that's the side that was exposed, wasn't it? If you turn it over that side. That's the side that's a bit yeah, so that side was a bit that was exposed to the elements. And so it's been reverse prepped to give uh, a brilliant finish on that side. It's quite a nice hildy, that, actually. Always nice to get a decent biff runs. Okay. There you Next one. Interesting, this one. Mm -hmm. It's on a yellow stone. Oh. Which means I've seen this before. I remember this one. Wait, don't show it yet. <laughs> See, can I get it out? Don't break it! Oh, I know what this one is. Yeah, I told you. Being defeated by the tape and wrapping again. I'm not being defeated by it, I'm still getting it out. There we go. There we go. That's not bad, is it? So that, I think that might be a Garantiana Garantiana. So it's from Burton Bradstock. And uh, it was a bit of prep, which looks like it was going to be a bit rubbish. So I went and hit it with a hammer. And... It exposed a bit of keel. I thought, oh, hang on a minute, that's worth d double checking. So there's a big shell on the back, which I can't remember the name of, but um, that's quite nice. That so it's like a double fossil, big shell on one side, and yeah. So, right, which one? We'll so th the these are about I think 170 million years old, something like that, from the uh, Bajorian. Yeah, okay, let's see this one. Next one. I can always see it. Will the tape defeat me? Oh, it's strong tape, innit? Ooh, that almost fell. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> that would be terrible, wouldn't we, if we hadn't prepped and then we broke them. Yeah. Dropped off the edge of the table. No! Oh! So, an Androgynoceros maculatum. So, I think Wait, that's... Move these away from the edge of the table. Yes, yeah, so that's another recent prep from the uh, Exploring the Pleiens Bacchian. So, I did a trip with Ricardo uh, from... Um, the north of Robin Hood's Bay to Robin Hood's Bay. That's turned out quite nice. I'm quite surprised there wasn't another one in there because um, it looked like there might be more. But um, that's quite Almost nice. Almost perfect centre. Not bad, not bad. Yep. Nice, uh, nice Androgynoceros maculatum. Oh, that looks a tasty nodule. What could be in here? Ho 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 ho. Nice Androgynoceros. Probably maculatum. And I reckon there could be more in that because there's obviously been another one there. 
lovely jubbly, I'm happy with that. Don't find too many of these. Nice. And then the final one. The final one is a bit of a beastie. I saved it because it looked like a beast. Did you? Well, actually this one will be the latest trip before we do a roundup of our week of finds uh, while we've been on holiday. I just found this cannonball. It's not split very well, <laughs> but actually, <laughs> that's not bad. So you've got quite a nice elegantisserus there. One there. That's unfortunately broken. But I whether that would actually glue back on. In fact, there is another one just in there as well. I'm going to sit on top of it. So I might just take all that back, see what we can do. There's at least one nice one now, so I'm quite happy with that. But yeah. It's the way with these, they don't always split well. But uh, oh well, it'd be nice if that one had split properly. So this was the, um, the Saturday before we came away and nipped oh. out. Yay! And that is a cannonball that I found just over a week ago. So, brilliant. That's a lovely one, that, isn't it? Lovely finish on that. A small one there as well. Nice cut base and a little small one that was nestling in the mouth border. So, yeah, lovely speedy service from uh, Fossils UK. And some lovely preps from Marcus. There we go. What do you reckon? Pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. Some good stuff. We've got some bits for your collection and some bits for my collection. And then we've got a load of finds that we've got boxed up that we need to um, sort out when we get home. Loads of dacks and bits and pieces, haven't we? So I think there might be one pseudo in there, but mainly, mainly it's been a dac week. Lots and lots of bits of dacks. But yeah, they're, they're very good. Some Ildoceros, Ildoceros bifrons, Ildoceros lutzitanicum. Very rare Hildoceros and Pseudo combo. A nice uh, Peronoceros subamatum, Nemalpheus uh, margaritatus, possibly a Garantiana, I don't think it's a Parky. Uh, Peronoceros, I think it's Turiculatum, and Drogainoceros maculatum, Eleganticeros elegantulum. There we go. Beautiful. And if you enjoyed the video, you can check out our web shop. It's fossiliferous.onlineweb.shop. Uh, we've got 25% off all fossils up until uh, the end of August. So get in there quick uh, and grab a bargain. Thanks for helping out on the channel. See you next time.